That's, that's an intense debate for a class where it's people from all over the world. <laughs> Here's our warm-up question. Hey, hi, teacher. Very good evening. Hello. Hi, how I'm are back you? With, I'm very well. I'm back with the no background voice now. Okay, cool. Um, okay, here's our warm-up question. So if you won the lottery, what would you do with the money? Would you keep it for yourself or would you share it? If it was $10 million. Oh. Okay. Uh, I have a good answer. About <laughs> with very sensitive and personal answer, I have. Sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> Say it again. I have a best answer. If I'm going to deliver this answer, I think all people are going to be very emotional. Okay. It's a very touchy answer. Like, if i going to, okay, like, should, should I answer? Sure. Okay, if I'm gonna uh, win the lottery of uh, how much amount did you say? Ten million dollars. Ten million dollars. Okay, really? I would firstly buy a house, <laughs> buy a car for my family. Then the rest money I will use a few. Amount. I'm not. Uh, I'm in the whole amount. The uh, at least one one million dollar I would use for my business. I will set up our business so that I can earn from there and can keep and save the rest money which I have uh, from the $10 million and I will uh, start my business so that I can get more and more money so that I can keep the rest one and can earn the, um, the more as well. So I'll do that much. Okay, good. Um, the question was if you won the lottery of ten million dollars, what would you do with the money? Would you keep it or share it? <laughs> if I won the lottery, first I would share it by paying the taxes because if you won the lottery you have to pay your taxes, that's the best way to share the money. <laughs> and there uh, <laughs> and and with the rest of the money, I will use it for myself. Maybe I could travel at first, uh, buy something, maybe a house. Uh, and with the rest, uh, maybe I could invest and keep it to myself. Maybe save it in the bank. All right, um, cool. I like your answer about taxes. <laughs> of course. I'm sharing with that. <laughs> what, what would you do, Samantha? What would I do? Yeah. Um, I would probably spend half of it and share half of it. And what? Spend half of it and share half of it with my family. Um, uh, I forgot to add one thing because I I, I I had to win ten million, right? So I I will spare <laughs> one million for the poor and needy people. Oh, okay. I will donate <laughs> one million. That's fair. Just ten percent. <laughs> what about you, Daniel? Uh, I would travel all around the world <laughs> with my family. So that's Terry, right? Yeah, that, that counts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Renee? Um, first, I think of my house, too. Uh, like, I don't know, five cars. Um, five cars? <laughs> five cars, one, one uh, boat. <laughs> Uh, a private jet. <laughs> Dallas Cowboys team. <laughs> the stadium. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know if ten million's enough for all for the team and the stadium. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> mm, well, I think I will make um build a. Um, a social service company too. That'd be good. Okay, cool. Anybody else? Yes. Servet? Yes. Ten million dollars I think contains seven zero. 
And that means lots of money that more than I need. <laughs> so I I, <laughs> I prefer um, to help people rather than being just me rich. I just spent uh, a, just a bit of them to my education and I would make more than 10 million dollars. Good, so you have to invest it to make more. <laughs> yes. As of you... them, I will help orphans maybe. Okay. Cool. Let's see Mauricio's answer. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Eduardo. Um, what about Mill? Mill, what would you do with your $10 million? Oh, hey, oh, well, uh, I would try to do something for help other people and so invest the money. Mm -hmm. And so maybe take a, take a part of it for that. And then, so I don't know, try to do something productive with the other money, you know. Yeah, try to help other people. Don't just spend it on stuff. Uh, yeah, maybe. I want to buy some things, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, maybe, so, yeah, buy a house, you know, offer. Because I'm going to get older, you know. I'm going to yeah. get old, and then so I need a place to, <laughs> to live. And then, then, I don't know what more. What else? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and has anybody not answered yet? What about Anna? Um, I would share it, or maybe I would invest in environmental projects. I don't know. Perfect. Okay. Has anybody not answered yet? I think everybody gave an answer. All right, so um, I'm just going to upload a document to Google Drives, but today we're going to talk a little bit about silent letters um, in words and pronouncing some of the tougher ones. And then if we have time, we'll also talk about the ED at the end of words and pronouncing that, okay? So I'm just going to upload document. One second. <laughs> Eduardo would buy Michelle Obama. Okay, there we go. And for people in the chat, there's the link. So just let me know if you have any trouble opening the document. Hey, Rennie. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Before we start, do you want to answer the warm-up question? We were saying what we would do if we had $10 million, if we won the lottery. Would you spend mm -hmm. it or share it? Uh, I would do both, maybe. Spend and share. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was the common answer, spend some and share some. <laughs> Well, yeah, but I think I, if I want to share, I might try to do something to get more money. That way I can share more. <laughs> like a foundation or something. That uh, way, if you don't share, like, I, I mean, I will end up sharing a little bit, but I maybe can Please get more money from more people. Yeah, yeah raise more money from them. Okay. Um, does everyone have the worksheet open? Yes. yes. So, yeah, I it's not to be open. It's still browsing. And it's still browsing. Okay, so we're just going to go through the letters by the alphabet, so which letters are silent. Um, and then I'm going to get you guys to try to think of some other words that fall into these categories. Then after we'll do a couple um, exercises to practice. And then if we have time at the end, we'll look at um, ED endings on words. So, silent A, can somebody read out the words in silent A? I can do it. Okay, Rennie? Secretary, separate, 
documentary, elementary. Okay, so all of those A's that are read are not pronounced. So any word, um, any, all of these words have a red letter in them, and the red letter is the silent, unstressed word, letter. So secretary, separate, documentary, elementary. So even though that A is there, when you pronounce them naturally, you don't hear it. It's silent. So, Renny, do you want to try pronouncing them again without the A's? Yes. Okay. Secretary, separatory, documentary, elementary. And separate. So it ends up sounding like this. Documentary. Documentary. Secretary. Secretary is a hard word to say. And some people do pronounce the A. Sometimes it's people say secretary. I pronounce it secretary. But um, that one did, depends a little bit on your own pronunciation. Okay. Um, can anyone think of any other words with a silent A like that in them? No? Okay, let's look at silent B. Um, how about Renee? Yeah. Oh, Servet? Okay, yeah, Servet, okay. you go first. Servet. Can you read out all the silent B letter words? Okay. That, doubt, cram, dumb, numb, thumb, plumber, thumb, lamp, climb, bomb, comb, and sub, subtle. Subtle, yeah. So tomb, T O M B. It's okay. tomb. To, do you know what a tomb is? Yes, I know. Like in a cemetery or cemetery? Tom, um, like Tom. Yeah, tomb. And then, do you know the word subtle? No. Subtle means like discreet. So, like in, for example, in advertisements, there are usually subtle, discreet, or hidden messages trying to get you, or in movies, um, when they use product placement, like if you're watching a movie and somebody's drinking Coca-Cola or using a Mac, that's their advertising within the movie, that's like a subtle advertisement or a discreet advertisement. They're trying to work it in naturally so you don't realize that you're watching an ad. So that's being subtle. Sub yeah, almost subliminal, but you can... Um, it does, it's not always related to advertising, that's just one example. Okay, and then there are also sometimes when the MB is actually pronounced. Bombs, bombed, bombing, bomber. So most of the time the MB at the end, the B is silent, but there are a few, a few um, exceptions. Crumble, Dumbo, like when the B is in the second syllable, you don't usually say Dumbo, but that's the title of a Disney film. Bombard, combine, crumble. So if there's MB, but the M and the B are separated by a syllable, you pronounce both letters. When they're stuck together in one syllable, you don't pronounce it. How do you spell what, Eduardo? It. <laughs> How do you spell it? I T. <laughs> Clockwork orange. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay. Um. Okay. Now let's go to Renee for silent C. <laughs> <coughs> silent E. Oh, silent, silent C. C. Okay. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's advanced. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. It's easy. Um. Miscellaneous. Yep. Victor. Bendic. Mazel. Scissors. Science. Send. Good. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Does everybody know what that means? No. Miscellaneous means secret. Means what, sorry? Secret. No, it doesn't really mean secret. Um, it means all together, like random. 
different. So here I'll type up an example. So um, okay, there's an example. When I went to Starbucks, it took me an hour to decide what I wanted to buy because there were so many miscellaneous flavors I'd never heard of. So like random, different, um, maybe something new that you haven't heard of. Miscellaneous basically is random. Okay. Um, and indict. That was that silent C. I don't know if you will have heard of this word or not. Indict. Indict. Has anyone heard of that word? No. Usually related to politics or to crime. Yes. Yeah, Servat, what does it mean? To blame. Yeah. Blaming somebody else, accusing them of doing something wrong. So you hear it a lot in courts. You're indicting someone in court. Um, muscle, scissors, science, sense. Yeah. Okay, and then yacht. This is one case where that ch isn't a ch or a sh. Yacht. You don't hear it at all. Um, it's yeah. It's not yeah. It could be charging. It's blaming or accusing someone of something. So you could be charging them, um, charging them for doing something, as kind of an exercise of your blame, so that does work. Okay, yacht has a silent ch. It's not yacked. Yacht. Um, does anybody want to read silent d? Anybody? Okay, about Sunny? Sunny? Uh, you're muted, so I think. Yeah, I can. Okay, silent d. Castle, whistle. Chestnut, Christmas, fasten, listen, often, soften, um, marriage. I think you're looking at a different letter. Silent D starts with handkerchief. It's at the bottom of the first page. Handkerchief, handsome. Okay, D, letter D. You want me to yeah. pronounce D? Yeah. Okay, I thought that one. Okay, here is it. Okay, that is handkerchief, handsome, Wednesday, ma'am, that's all. Ah, that's what I have. Yeah, it goes up to the top, grandson. Okay, okay, here is it. Yes, grandson, sandwich, handsome, landscape. So in all of these words, you don't pronounce the D. Are there any there that you guys um, thought you did pronounce the D? Martin? Wednesday. Yes. Yeah, you don't say Wednesday. Wednesday? We do. Wednesday. No. You do, it sounds like this. <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday. That's a hard word because it's spelt really strangely. And usually, when you're writing it, you think in your head Wednesday, but <laughs> that's not actually how it's pronounced. You don't hear the D at all. Wednesday. Oh. Do we pronounce the same in the British oh, accent? Yeah. In a British accent, it would be. Wednesday. I don't want to Wednesday. try to do a British accent. Do it. Um, I think it's the same. No, I'll do it. <laughs> Okay, all are same. Because here in India, we people follow the British accent. I mean, if you don't speak the British accent, in the company, people say your accent is not good. Oh, <laughs> I guess I should oh. move to India. <laughs> I, I can't. But no, I yeah, with Wednesday, it's a completely silent W. You never pronounce it. Yeah. I can't suggest a website for pronunciation in all accents. Called F O R V O. F O R E O. If you visit that site, you will find pronunciation of all accents. No. No. <laughs> Sorry. F 
Oh, four vote. Okay. Did you hear that, Sunny? That website has pronunciation of all accents. Mm, that may yeah, be helpful. Yeah. Servo. Thank you so much for that. I'm definitely gonna do it. Oh, don't mention it. <laughs> Great. So we've got Wednesday. Any other, any other D words there? That Sandwich. What about Madame? You say I know you say man. Man. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Man. Yeah. So technically, from? it's madam. Madam. Right? Madam. You say man. You yeah, don't man. say madam. Say man. My say manager man. told me just in last month when I wrote one mail, he said it is written in written it is ma'am, and when we pronounce it, it is madam. That might be a British thing. I don't know, but in in American, you pretty much always just say ma'am. And that's equally as polite as saying madam. It's just very uncommon to say madam. Yeah, also it has a different meaning. Yeah, he told me. Yeah, yeah, I got it. They mean the same thing. It's the same word. And they mean the same thing. It's just it's less common to say madam. Just when we pronounce it, we just drop the D. Oh. Ma'am. Yeah. Sounds like mom. Yeah, you don't say sandwich. Sandwich? Just sandwich. sandwich. That's how it. That's how it sounds when you pronounce it. Um. Or if you're using it as a nickname for me, it's sandwich. <laughs> 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 I get that a lot. <laughs> but no. Sand sandwich. It's just natural. This is like the natural pronunciation. You dr you drop a lot of letters when you're naturally speaking because it makes it easier to speak more quickly. You don't even realize you're doing it. But you start to pronounce full sentences, and letters start to disappear. <laughs> and um, it's just part of when you're naturally speaking. Um, it makes it easier for your tongue not to get twisted, like those tongue twisters we did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Don't start again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to show Pinky in the brain again. <laughs> oh, man. Any other, any other D words? D is kind of a tough one, because a lot of the time, you, I mean, you could say grandson, grandson. You could pronounce it very properly, but it's much more common to drop the D, grandson. It's it's more natural. You could say landscape, but when you naturally pronounce it in a sentence, it comes out like landscape, and that D just naturally is dropped. There's a lot of time when there's a D in the middle of a word that it makes your tongue kind of trip when you're saying it. So when you're naturally speaking, the Ds just start to disappear from the middle of words and they become silent. So it doesn't mean that it's improper to say landscape. It's it's proper, but it's it's not as natural. So this is I'm looking more at like the natural pronunciations of these words. Middle? No, you ha you say the D in middle. You wouldn't say middle, like over pronounce the two D's, middle. You wouldn't say it like that. It's just the two D's turn into one, middle. Any other D questions? Have you heard the word handkerchief before? Yes. No. <laughs> no? No, no. Someone who tore that paper. Handkerchief paper. is. This is this is a Kleenex, right? Kleenex. But um, a handkerchief is like a Kleenex, but cloth. It's like a piece oh. of cloth and like kind of fancy people. I don't think people really carry around hankies. That's the short form. Sonny's got it, hanky. People don't really carry them around as much anymore. Um, but people used to have My them dad? like tucked in their pocket, their hanky. Oh, yeah. Or like girls would drop it on the floor to try to get a boy to pick it up. <laughs> oh, I dropped my hanky. They 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 they, they make it uh, have it on the school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like a tissue, but it's it's actually cloth. Um, to me, it's kind of it's kind of gross. Because <laughs> you use it and then you put it back in your pocket. <laughs> um, all right. Let's move on to silent e. How about Mr. Daniel? Uh, okay. Silent E. Every desperate temperature mm -hmm. deliberate different beverage 
interesting, opera, miserable, uh, I don't know, food, food. feud, feud, all right, Liter literature, oh, sorry, literature is supposed to have an E on the end, <laughs> that's a typo, <laughs> should look like this. Oh, uh, all right, <laughs> I will just skip that, different, <laughs> several, Interesting, perhaps. Good. Okay. So we've got a few new words there. Um, feud. What's a feud? No idea. Huh? A fight. Battle. Let's Have feud. you heard of the game show Family Feud? No. Oops. It's an American game show. Um, a feud is just like a fight or a battle, going head to head, one on one, it's a feud. Um, and when you pronounce it, you don't pronounce the E. So the, the, there's a lot of cases where the E isn't pronounced, and again this, this comes into natural speaking. Like for example, every. It's not, it's not improper to say every and pronounce the E like that, but it's unnatural. So it's much more natural to say every. That's how it naturally is pronounced. Desperate. Yes. The E disappears. You were asking about beverage. Beverage is a drink. Any drink. This is a beverage. Coca-Cola is a beverage. So it's just a fancier name for drink. <laughs> <laughs> Any other E words that you guys are... Samantha, are we not supposed to pronounce the E uh, in perhaps? Because I always pronounce it. Perhaps. Yeah, perhaps. I, don't, I don't really like that one. Just ignore perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> but the rest of them, um, the rest of them are, are correct. And liter literature, you don't normally say literature and pronounce every single syllable. When it comes out naturally, it sounds like literature. Right? Literature. 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 That he kind of naturally disappears. Several. You don't say several. It comes several. out several. Several. You don't say different. It comes out different. different. Right? So a lot of the time, that, that third syllable with the E in the middle, mm -hmm. it's just naturally dropped when you're speaking. Yeah, you don't say federal. Federal. Federal? Again, it's not improper to say it, to over-pronunciate. Over-pronouncing words like this is saying every single syllable. So you can say federal. It's not wrong, but it's not natural. So naturally you would just say it like federal. Perhaps and maybe are synonyms. There's no difference. Okay, thank you. Yep. Temperature. So a lot of the time it's with three syllable words with that E in the middle. It just is naturally dropped. Any other E questions? Someone's dog. Oh, nice. <laughs> attendance. Where do you see attendance? Oh, you're just thinking of it? No, I, do, I don't think that one has... There's a silent E at the end of attendance. Attendance. But you pronounce the E's in the middle of that one. A, and then. Presence. So these are, these are silent E's at the end. When words end in C-E, the E at the end is silent. Yes. You don't say presence. <laughs> attendance. Mm -hmm. It's just presence, and the E disappears at the end. Okay, how about silent H? Um, who hasn't read yet? Mill? Yes. Silent H. Silent H. What is that? Just underneath I'm, me. I'm lost. Where? Here, I'll put <laughs> it on my screen so you can see it. Okay. Hey, can you see it on my camera? Okay. Mm, all right. 
Uy. <laughs> Air. Yep. Honor. Exhaust. Exhibition. Exhibition. I don't know what's right. Ex exhaust. Exhibition. Ex exhaust. Exhibition. You got you got some Anni hard words. Anni <laughs> Annihilate. Annihilate. Yeah. Vehement. Yeah. Like. Okay. So vehicle. 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 Okay. So some new words here. Any questions? I think we might have a few. Have you heard of air? Yeah. yeah. No, an heir or an heir to an estate. That's the person who's going to inherit someone's money when they pass away. So you're the heir to someone's belonging, someone's estate. You're the next next of kin is another way to say that. It's the same as heir pronunciation. Yeah, it's pronounced the same way as heir. You don't say hair. Like this is hair, right? Hair. How about you? So it it becomes a silent H. You wouldn't want to say you're the hair of an estate, because that just, it actually sounds kind of funny, but that, that doesn't make sense. So it's air with a silent H, and it's pronounced the same way as air, like the air surrounding us. And then we've got exhaust. <sighs> Jose, open your mouth, improve your pronunciation, you don't pronounce the vowels. You seem to pronounce vowels fine, Jose. Yeah. Do you think? Well. Yeah. Maybe it's because your teacher harassed you so much that now you can pronounce them perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe the she was a native speaker. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're. Um, it's tough because you always have your accent, but you can keep doing things to reduce it. But um, I mean, I can understand everything you say perfectly fine. Pronunciation's pretty good. All right, so we've got air exhaust. What's exhaust? Like if you yeah. feel exhausted, you feel so tired. Yeah, exhausted is so tired. You're really, really tired. Then there's another type of exhaust. Um, it's this the smoke and stuff that comes out of a car, out of the back. Exhaust. There's an exhaust pipe. Yeah. And all the fume and stuff comes out. I don't really know exactly what happens. I'm not a car person. But um, that's another definition. So there's two types of exhaust. Exhaust pipe. Or I'm exhausted. I'm really tired. In both cases, you don't pronounce the H. You don't say exhaust. Exhaust. And do that extra breath. Exhaust. It's just exhaust. The H disappears. Vehement. Vehement is like malicious or very intensely oops severely maybe oops tensely sorry <laughs> severely yes. vehemently annihilate you don't say annihilate annihilate it's just annihilate naturally the h disappears What's annihilate? Does anyone know? You might have heard this word in the gaming world if anybody plays video games. To kill some, somebody? Or yeah. Punch. yeah. Yeah, so kill, destroy, destroy something. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean kill. It can just be to destroy something. Um, yeah. <laughs> or... Um, Vanish. It's not a real word. Um, yeah. Or you, you can annihilate, or you, sometimes you could use it as an expression, saying, like, I just ate the biggest plate of french fries I've ever seen in my life. I annihilated them. So it's like an expression as well. It doesn't necessarily mean kill something. Okay, bye, Mill. See you again soon. And if Mauricio is still out there, there is a seat now. <laughs> Vehicle. You don't say vehicle, unless <laughs> that's kind of a, a joke with um, sometimes people in, from the south in America do pronounce a lot of the silent H's. It's part. It's in their accent. 
but generally um, it's vehicle. You wouldn't pronounce the H. Vehicle. Vehicle. Vehicle, yeah. Not vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that, All right. Oh, I Renny? guess that, that doesn't mean like if you pronounce it, anyway, they're going to understand you, but it depends where, where you are. They're going to be like. Yeah, first, for vehicle, if you. I, sa I feel funny saying it that way because if you pronounce the H, it makes you sound um, kind of like... Um, have you guys seen the TV show Trailer Park Boys? <laughs> what? Have you heard of that TV show, Trailer Park Boys? No? Yeah. Uh, oh, I think that's Canadian, actually. Yeah, it is Canadian. Yeah. Um, but it's like a bunch of um, kind of hick, hick guys that live in a trailer park and... Um, yeah, it just, it, so when you say, pronounce the H's like that, vehicle, it sounds kind of like, uh, you're uneducated, like it's, it, it's kind of overpronouncing it, and I don't, I don't really know how to describe it, but you, you don't want to overpronounce your H's, <laughs> or you sound like the trailer park boys. I, maybe I'll show you guys a video clip. Um, at the end of class, so you know what I mean, okay? <laughs> Mauricio made it, yay! <laughs> okay, silent I. How about Anna? Okay, um, aspirin, medicine, business. Good, aspirin. You don't say aspirin. 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 Medicine. Sometimes you say medicine, medicine, medicine. So it's kind of a depends on your accent with that one. Business. You never say busyness. Business. That's definitely overpronouncing. If you say the I in business, so it's just business. I'm sure you guys know that from taking business English classes. <laughs> okay. Knock. Knock, there's so many um, silent K words. We could probably make like an, a huge list of them, but um, generally if there's a K and an N, that K is silent. It's always silent. So that the KN is a little bit easier to remember when to keep it silent. Almost always if it's at the start of a word with an N beside it. So knock. Knickers. Knickers are very British. <laughs> We don't say knickers in um, North American English. Do you know what knickers are? No. Just like, like shoes? he says yes. Sport shoes, sportive shoes. No, um, under undergarments. What? Under what? Underwear. Oh. oh. Right, in <laughs> British English, they're your knickers. Uh, I know knickers. that because just my like grandparents are British, <laughs> so I know a lot of the, yeah, the terms. But Naker is just like till knees, that short, short till knees. Yeah, it's um, above the knees, above the knees. But like right, um, old, right. old fashioned <laughs> underwear. <laughs> Where are your knickers? Oh. <laughs> um, Grandmothers were, were worn. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's in positive manner. Don't take it. Grand panties? Oh. Yeah, Sunny, no, Sunny's got it. That's exactly what it is. Um, it's a British word, though. I would never say that. I've never. I would never say knickers. So it's very British. Um, I've got a lot of knickers during my childhood. I used to wear knickers. <laughs> Someone is mugging. Too much sure information. Too much That's information. Why I knew this. That's why I knew this. I I got a lot of knickers. I used to wear. My mom always, you know. <laughs> oh dear. That's Too much information. Do you know what <laughs> do you know what kneading kneading is? No. <laughs> we, we, in our country, uh, I mean ladies floor uh, yeah, they they need yeah, the this floor. Is kneading. Yes. Like um it's when you're baking or something and you're making a crust or dough, you knead it. So it's like working it with your hands. It's kneading. It's pretty much always used to talk about like dough or crust or um, 
yeah, really, that's it, dough. So you knead it, or any. Sometimes other things that you're baking, you're using your hands to work it together. It's kneading, so it's like mixing it, but with your hands. So when you're baking some things, um, the it's really delicate. So if you, I don't know if you guys bake at all, but if you're making like a butter crust, um, it's really delicate. You don't want to mix it too much. So you use your hands to keep it all together the way you want it. Or pizza when you when you or make pizza it. you need dough yeah need dough for pizza um, asked yeah you you pronounce that K asked asked it sometimes comes out like asked without the K but you should pronounce the K asked. 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 It sounds kind of <laughs> asked, but KD, but it, you do pronounce the K in asked. So that would be coming up into that other topic of um, ED endings. I don't think we'll have time to do it today, but my next pronunciation class, I'll do, I'll do it on ED endings, because I think that's a problem for a lot of people, when to s pronounce the ED or the id, ed, it. <laughs> okay. Good, so we've got K down, so let's look at G. Move away from the knickers <laughs> towards G. <laughs> um, how about Mauricio, now that you're in class? Do you want to read out G? Yes, of course. Gnome. Campaign. Rain. Foreigner. Daphran. Design. Sign. Resign. Good. So, any questions about these words? Again, with that GN, it makes Spy Jose, they make a note saying that there's lots of GN words, so gnome, um, gnaw, nat. So it's the same as that KN. When you see KN or GN at the start of a word, you don't pronounce the first letter. You don't pronounce the K or the G. You wouldn't say gna, gnat. It just becomes <laughs> silent. And there's a lot, a lot, a lot of words with a G in the middle where the G is silent. A lot of words. So again, G-N becomes silent. G-H. Um, any questions about the words? Do you guys know all those words? No, not, and no, and no, and no, 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 and not. Gnome? No, not, not. Not, um, this one? Yes, nat. A gnat is like um, a little bug. Ah, yeah. Like a little creature. Like a mosquito? <laughs> like a mosquito? Kind of like a mosquito, but um, they don't really have wings. They're just like annoying little bugs. Yeah, bug who, who sucks the blood. Yeah, I know bugs. Yeah. 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 And what was the other one? Gnaw. Gnaw is like, like biting something, but very um, savagely. Like savagely biting is gnawing on something. So you might say like um, a camel, when a camel eats they're like Arr, and they like rip their teeth <laughs> or rip the food with their teeth. That's gnawing. So like savagely eating or biting. I could give you a demonstration with my apple but I don't want to take it too far. <laughs> there is an expression uh, with not, with not. Uh, yes, uh, this afternoon uh, Shane Totus Totus. Mm -hmm. Let me let me let me look for. Okay. Uh, yeah. With, see if you can with find of it. a nat's eyelash, eyelash. With of a nat's eyelash. Let me let me let me write it. Uh, with of a nat's eyelash. So does that mean it's like really small? Okay. Um, and a rain, rain is uh, like rule, rule over, rule over a kingdom. Like a queen is in rain, you would say like the queen of England rules England. Is 
this recording, Sunny. Um, it's on. It's posted on YouTube about five minutes after class. How would I find out then later? Here, I'll give you my YouTube link. Oh. Um, I put all my classes on a playlist on YouTube, so makes it a little bit easier to find them. But it's on the Kalingo classes YouTube page. So, hey, bye, Fernando. Um, I'll get you the link, Sunny, before the end of class, okay? Sure. Okay. Um, so with the GN again, it's similar to um, it's similar to the the MB. So pretty much always, if there's a GN beside one another, it's going to be silent. But when there's separated by sim uh, syllables, so you can see it on the worksheet there: signal, signature, resignation. In that case, you pronounce the G. But when the GN are together in one syllable, signs, signed, signing, campaign, you don't pronounce the G. So it's only when there's a syllable separating them that the G becomes uh, pronounced. So same as MB. Um, yeah, Sunny, with the breathing, if you pull your microphone away a little bit, we'll still be able to hear you just fine. Can you adjust it, like pull it? If you just pull it out a little bit, then you can breathe normally. It's not that you're breathing heavy, it's just that your microphone's too close, I think. Oh. <laughs> it starts to sound like, you know when somebody telephones you and they're just like... <sighs> <laughs> it's really creepy. <laughs> hey, Eduardo. Hello. You made it into class. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> I know it's hard when they fill up. Um, okay, are we good with the GN? Yes. Yeah? Okay, so let's look at L, silent L. Um, who wants to read? I think everybody's read once. How about Servet? Oh, yes. Okay. Cough, half, sow, bum, come, palm. Oh. Palm? Yes. After palm? <laughs> yeah, it's palm. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> Palm, chalk, talk, walk, fox, Lincoln, almond, salmon, bo <laughs> bug, okay. or bag, or book. Okay, so you have... Um, Palm and psalm. So psalm is a sacred song or a hymn. So the songs that you play at church, hymns. Yes. There's another silent letter. You don't pronounce the N in hymns. So silent N. But um, that's what a that's what a psalm is. And then, oh, it was just psalm. There wasn't a palm. <laughs> Psalm, silent P. We, were we looking at P? No, we're looking at L. Sorry. Um, the It's a silent L and a silent P in that word. So it sounds like psalm. That's how it ends up sounding, psalm. You don't pronounce a P or the L, so it's kind of a tough one. Um, salmon, almond, Lincoln, folks. Talk, talk, walk. Any questions about any of these words? Almond. Almond. An yeah. almond is uh, it's a it's a nut. Um, I don't know how to describe it. A lot of things are almond flavored. I'll maybe find you a picture <laughs> of an almond. <laughs> Oops. Oh, in Spanish, almendra. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Thanks. Thanks, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need. I need to learn some Spanish, guys. <laughs> we should. We should this year, right? <laughs> yeah. Then I can start giving you. Uh, I can start defining the words just by giving you them the word in Spanish. <laughs> so, um, sov is uh, an ointment. 
like heal um if you get cut and you want to keep the dirt and everything out you put an ointment on your cut so another word for that is sob it's it's very uh, uncommon that's an uncommon word but any questions about the silent l buck buck <laughs> And right here, a psalm in it. I was just saying, a psalm is a hymn, or like a religious song that you hear at church. Mm. Bach is Bach is a verb, so to balk at something um, is kind of to like. Um, I think. It, see if I can. Persist. Yeah. So, resist. Resist from doing something. Um, so, for example, all gardeners balk at closing the garden for the season because they'll be out of work. So, they don't really want to. They're kind of like scoffing. Have you heard the word scoff where you're like, ah. <laughs> Just stop. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Either. It's kind of like the same thing. <laughs> um, okay. All right, let's look at silent M. We've only got one. Mnemonic. Mnemonic. How do you say it? Mnemonic. Mnemonic. Does anybody know what that is? No idea. Anyone know what mnemonic is? It's like a pattern, um, a pattern to help you remember something. So, a mnemonic pattern. It's a design. Um, it's it designed to help you remember. So, for example, um, you could have like a pattern of letters. Like when you're, um, I'm thinking of this in French, but when you're learning a language or anything, you create these anagrams, so you put each letter of the word like this. I'll show you in my notepad. My trusty notepad. So you spell out the word um, vertically and then you write in, you know. Like an acronym? acronym? Yeah, an acronym. So that's like a pattern of words to help you remember something else. So that's a mnemonic pattern. So there's lots and lots of different types of mnemonic patterns, but it's a sort of pattern using words, letters, symbols to help you remember something else, so to aid your memory. Mnemonic. Okay. okay. Silent N. Sure, mnemonic is right here. Oh, type the definition. No, yeah, mnemonic, mnemonic, yeah, mnemonic, mnemonic, uh, mnemonic pattern. Mm. I don't think we're gonna make it through the whole alphabet today, but <laughs> that's okay. We'll look at N. Um, how about Daniel? Can you read out the N words? Okay, autumn, him, then, solemn. Column, condemn, 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 <laughs> and shimmy, and shimmy, shimmy, condemn versus condom. What? Condemn is with oh, the you e. Actually say that. Okay. And condom, there's a big difference. <laughs> so. Condemning someone is um, like <laughs> the first word that came to mind was smiting, but you condemn someone when they've done something wrong. So, like if you're putting them in jail, you're condemning them. Um, does everyone know what a condom is? <laughs> I didn't yeah, even know what condom is. No. Condemn. <laughs> so, condom is like what you use when you have sex. Versus condemn is when you're in trouble. <laughs> if you don't really? use the condom, so you get that's condemned. Like, in most cases, you're in trouble. One little, one little, um, 
running. If you One use little, that um, condom, you, you are condom? Maybe... Condominium? Maybe. Is the short form for that, Mauricio, is condo. Con ah, condo. Yeah. Condo. Not condom. Hello. Condom is for, like, the... What's it? Um, latex thing that you use when you're having sex. And then condemn is when you're in trouble. You're being condemned for something. <laughs> Or punished, so and you, condo, condo is the short form for condominium. If you use, if someone uses bad a condom, maybe would be condom. Yeah. Okay. To prevent getting a cold. <laughs> that joke. So. I thought you were serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, but you can see how like the one the one sound can really alter the meaning of words, right? We did this before when we were talking about shit and sheet. Like that one vowel sound, it really changes things. <laughs> no, Mauricio, it's what? fine. Um, so with condominium, you just want to be careful that you use condo as the short form, not condom, because you might get some chuckles <laughs> from people if you use the wrong short form. What? Wait, Samantha. Yeah. About shit and sheet, how, how do you difference the words? For me, it sounds it's the same. E, E. We were doing this before. Watch my mouth. E, 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 E. It's, it's how your mouth moves to pronounce the e? vowels. Yeah, that was the other one, Renee. Good. Bitch and beach. E, no, I got it. E, E, e right? E so that's one of that's one of the biggest things that people struggle with with pronunciation is that i and e sound because it's new um, it's not in a lot of languages so you you have to train your mouth to do the sound and the biggest problem is saying um, you say uh, bitch or you want to say beach but you accidentally say bitch or you want to say <laughs> you accidentally say beach because it's that one vowel sound that's really tough, so you have to train your mouth. Rich, reach, yeah. So it's the I and E sound. Um, okay, I think we're out of time, but um, there's more silent letters on that worksheet. It goes up to W. <laughs> Didn't get time to get through all of them, but maybe next time. Um, does anyone have any questions? No. 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 Nope. Um, I'm teaching a beginner game class in an hour. Oh, game. <laughs> business, business, chef, chef, business. <laughs> chef, business, chef, chef, businessman.